cup could be really difficult if you don't know how you should do it. So this is a very fast and a straightforward tutorial if you are into it. For a verse step, I'm going to library over here and I'm going to choose some avatar, whatever you want to, you can choose. The avatar right under the library, there is history and new model library, which I'm going to go with new model library. Men and over here, there are different kind of already made um, garments. I'm going to go with short style sleeves. They are also different um, kinds. Our pattern right now is on our avatar, but it's not completely simulated. So let's hit the simulation button. If you select all the patterns over here, you can see all of them have different uh, fabric, which I don't like. Choose one fabric and go, um, go with it. I will delete the rest. Now next to it, next to the fabric section, is a graphic section. Go uh, hit the add button and choose your graphic. As soon as you grab your graphic and drag it wherever you want to, it appears on the garment and with very simple and small circle, you can make adjustments. Down here, if you see ties, it has y axis, y x axis and patterns. Let's try each of them. This is x axis. I need to make this a smaller so we can see what how it comes out. And then we go with y axis. And now let's go with the pattern. If you want to have this graphic all over the shirt, you will need to also add it different uh, on different cuts. Where you're gonna delete it, you simply uh, click on it and hit delete on the keyboard. One nice thing about graphics is that if you click on the graphics on the property editor you can see there are different types of material you can choose for your fabric so you have also shiny velvet and metal this is an example of metal another thing that you can play around with if if you hit the saturation on you can see all over the pattern now is absolute white and with this color you can choose different kinds of color but if you have white and black color like me it may ruin your uh, graphics and this is not what you want to so let's turn it off and over here again if you have black and white graphic on the opacity map if you set the same graphic here and set this to alpha you can see our graphic is absolute png and the black part is over right now now let's see what happens if you choose the color there is also one more thing to stand out your graphic from others on this placement map, you need to add black and white PNG or JPEG, it doesn't matter. But And it doesn't matter if you already have a colorful graphic. If you add a version of black and white over here, your uh, graphic comes out. This is how it comes out when you set the displacement map for it. If you can see there are some glitchiness over here, you can set the amount down to 1. And it's all fixed now. Importing with displacement map, you cannot have an opacity map. Uh, as you can see, this is a black um, frame around it. Still, another thing you can do to stand out your 3D markup problem is to delete your avatar simply select that and hit delete go to library on the avatar you can see hangers and you can choose your own hangers but this hanger needs some adjustment you can choose all your patterns try to fix it 
and then hit simulation. I hope this video helps you a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and bye!